this is so with like uh, when you go to servers so this this is something which I've again come back to the admin console now in the admin console you can see admin server and the managed servers right let's go back to the slide in the slide you have the administration server and then I showed you the managed server correct now both of these are using the MDS the metadata repository so going back admin server SOA server SOA server is the managed server now let me show you something else Okay, so Manoj Jagan, this is this is very interesting. The the there's a reason why I showed you this. Please follow me. So in your screen, as you can see, there are currently two admin consoles open, right? One is this one, which is now in front of you, in front of all of you, and one is this one, which is now in front of all of you. This one is the one which is using. SOA server which is using actual fusion middleware this is the one which is using both sorry which is using only the web center cluster so just giving an example when I say web center it's a combo of UCM plus WC spaces plus WC utilities right but SOA is just SOA because SOA is the you know bigger boss you can say it is having it is the it is the middleware now this server now this is also something in which I'm I mean, I'm also working in this I also work on web center so web center is using something you know, the UCM server so again for each of the servers you can see guys there is a clustering done so UCM UCM then we have WC portlet which I am not using now so I have kept it in a shutdown state you have something in the WC spaces which I am using running state you have something known as the WC utilities which I am using sorry utilities I am not using so shut down so this is the this is the configuration of a uh, web center suit right uh, from database connection perspective Jagan it's not that uh, I mean we cannot say that which one is used from database connection perspective we have something known as the data sources which connects to the database I would cover that I mean that is in the third class or something but since you have asked it let me just show you that so guys Jagan has asked a question because it's a very important question Jagan so I can share it with the class Jagan has asked a question that which of these are used from the database uh, I mean like from database connection management which is used the answer is none of them are used. None of them are used. From the database connection perspective we have something with the data source which we go ahead and create in the admin console and then we target it to the different servers. Uh, uh, please see Jagan, this is very interesting. So if you see uh, you have, okay let me just show you the SOA one. So you have seen SOA server 1 and SOA server 2 right? These are basically in the cluster. So what I will do, I will now, you wanted to hear about the database thing? I would go in the JDBC, something known as data sources. There you define data sources. Suppose I'm I'm clicking on SOA data source. You have something known as targets. In the targets, 
this is how you can say SOA cluster, which means the data source that I am using that I am targeting it to the SOA cluster, which means that whatever process I showed you the EM console where all the processes are deployed, right? Which means whatever process you have deployed in the SOS cluster, which means SOA server one or SOA server two, they can use this data source of yours, SOA data source. They can use this. This is the concept of connection database connection management. I'll unmute, unmute all now. So uh, it is the so the SOA servers are the containers which have the database uh, connection pools, much like Tomcat, right? No, 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 no. It is yeah, uh, not like uh, obviously not like Tomcat. The thing is that the data sources. The data sources are the places where you can go ahead and define that uh, data. I click on a data source, right? You can just go into the configuration. There you can go ahead and define the GNDI names, right? And then you can go to the connection pool. There you will define which database you want to connect, which is the driver that you are using, what is the user, uh, uh, I mean user ID of the database that you are wanting to connect and what is the connection timeout. Now going into the target, you can target that data uh, target the data source to the server. Which means I will I will just try to explain it, right? So it's like uh, suppose you have defined this data source and now you have targeted it to the SOA server. So uh, suppose you have targeted it to SOA server one. Now I am developing a process and I am using your data source. I am I am using a data source called Jagan data source. But I am deploying my process from SOA server 2. I am deploying my process on SOA server 2. Please note, my process will not be able to access Jagan database. Is it clear? No, 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 not. Okay. So okay, let me let me let me just explain you once more. Data sources you go ahead and define in the admin console. Are we clear till this point? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. But when we define the data sources from the admin console, these are kind of some very, I mean, you can, you can actually uh, tell them, uh, tell it like these are very active players who are not yet vetted for, by, by any team. Okay, let me... Uh, actually, um, uh, one, one second, I think we need to find out who, who's, whose computer is making the, the noise. Maybe we need to mute that one. <laughs> Unfortunately, it is creating so much, so much noise. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, Manoj. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, uh, so 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 the thing is like like when you when you go ahead and define define a particular you know like like when you go ahead and define a data data source. Let me just let me just explain you from a from, from a basic perspective. When you go ahead and define a data source in the admin console, it's like. Uh, it's like a player who has just come and some and some team will bid bid him, right? It's like some mm -hmm. say Chris Gale who has come for this IPL bidding and there is no team who is bidding it, right? Then okay. say Royal Challengers Bangalore owner Dr. Vijay Malia says, okay, fine, I'm going to go ahead and buy Chris Gale for my team, right? Then Chris Gale is going ahead and playing for Royal Challengers Bangalore, which means. Royal, you can now think Royal Challengers Bangalore as SOA Server 1 or SOA Server 2. That okay. means this scale is now targeted. This is the target. This scale is now, ta is now targeting to Royal Challengers Bangalore, which means some other teams, say Mumbai or say Delhi or say Kolkata Knight Riders, they cannot use Chris Gale services. So okay. that is the concept of a data source. So what I'm trying to say that I will go ahead and define the data source connection, define the data source connectivity in the admin console. But unless and until I target it to some server, to some managed server, to some SOA server 1 or UCM or blah, 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 X, Y, Z, I'm not bothered, right? Only then that server, I mean the processes in that server can use this data source. Is okay. it clear? Okay. okay. So, Rahul. Yeah. So the processes which are running in any of the admin, any of the managed server, are the business process, right? Any kind of functionality. Yeah, is that omit, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the processes running in the managed server. Are